So hi all, welcome to our YouTube channel, Data Mahadev. We also have a website with the same name, datamahadev.com. And we also have a YouTube channel with the same name, Data Mahadev. We are posting after a very long time, almost uh, 10 days, but uh, no worries. Uh, we'll be posting the videos, the tutorials uh, regularly on a regular basis. And uh, do catch up on our live sessions as well. So uh, yeah, so I was talking about our youtube channel so this is our youtube channel do like share and subscribe thanks a lot for an overwhelming response we started almost uh, one or almost two months back and within two months we've gained around 750 740 subscribers thanks a lot everyone for giving us uh, uh, the basically a warm uh, welcome on youtube so this is what it is yeah so we have discussed the various uh, tutorials related to basics of python data structures now we'll start with the new topic that is functions right so let us without wasting any further time let us do what let us start with functions all right so how do we uh, so this video will deal basically with what with how we basically define a function and some basic examples of static function and dynamic function and in the next video we'll come up with certain more examples all right so let's have a look at it so how do we define a function so these are comments in python all right so how do we define a function we define a function with the help of a keyword and that keyword is your def the short form for define define is what is it is a def so this is what it is all right so def followed by a name function name let's say func underscore name def followed by a function name and parenthesis parenthesis so this will do what this will basically denote what this will denote uh, an empty uh, parenthesis this denotes what an empty parenthesis no value inside it now whatever value we write inside it all right, x comma y or a comma b they are what they are our function parameters whatever values are there inside your uh, parameter basically function parameter basically in the parenthesis are your what are your function parameters so let me do what let me write it over here in comment df function name and parameter of function parameter one followed by parameter two so that is how we define a function and always remember just like a for loop just like a for loop a function is also what indented function also has a body and function is also indented so press enter and uh, then comes a what indentation indented block and comes a uh, function body comes our function body let me do what let me uh, write it in comments function body all right function body all right so this is what it is and followed by calling of the function calling of the function so this is what happens calling of the function all right uh, let's say what is the name of our function function name function name function name followed by the parametric value let's say 5 comma 6 or whatever value we want to pass when we see an example we will better understand all right so let us do what let us create a static function first a static function is what that is your function without a parameter a function without a what parameter all right so this is what it is so let us start with what let us start with let us start with static function all right so this is what it is static function so def followed by name of the function let's take abc as the name of function and let us do what let us write colon and press enter indentation all right this marks what indentation if you want to know more about indentation you can refer the for loop section all right so this is what it is indentation let's say i print hello world i print hello world all right so this is my function this comes under what this comes under my function body all right i'll come out of the loop uh loop the function come out of the function then i'll do what i'll call the function which is a function name followed by the parameter value now in this case 
we don't have any parameters so we'll do what we'll basically simply uh, write over here as abc the function name and it will do what it will print the whatever it is inside the function whatever operation is getting carried out inside the function body it will print that so what operation is getting carried out print hello world so it will print hello world let us see what let us write print good morning print uh, good morning so it will do what it will basically print good morning now suppose if i don't call the function it won't print anything if i call the function in the next cell it will basically print whatever is happening inside the function all right so this is your function definition or defining of a function all right defining of a function all right and this is what these are this is your function body function body and this is what this is your calling of the function calling of the function so that's how we basically call a function all right so this is what it is so this is a static function that means whatever values have been passed inside this uh, function body whatever statement whatever operation has been passed in the function body it will remain as it is it will remain static we cannot change that wherever we call it wherever throughout the cell throughout the jupyter notebook we call it it will do what it will basically result in the same value which is hello world or good morning or whatever we add beneath that like that let us take another example of static function let us do what let us take another example of static function let's take uh, sum all right and uh, let us do what let us print uh, 10 plus 5 or 10 plus 15 all right so this is what come out type sum it will give us 25 now it will only give us 25 until or unless we manually go back to the cell where we have defined the function and where we have uh, basically uh, inside the fun function body where, where we have carried out a, let's say addition operation so we have to change it manually so so now if i call it again it will give me what some 30 so this is an award this is an example of a static function that is a function basically that uh, after calling it it won't change until or unless you change it manually all right so this is what it is and a function that has no parameters so this is what it is. Let us have a look at what? Let us have a look at dynamic function. That is your function with function with function with parameter values. Function with parameter values. So let us do what? Let us take parameter values. All right. Let us take parameter values. All right. So this is what it is. Uh, now let us do a def let us take the very uh, above example above the above example in a uh, dynamic mode all right so we'll do what def, uh, def sum sum is what sum let us take it as someone right so someone is what someone is our function name and let us pass two parameters x comma y now we'll do what we'll basically apply a colon to ensure that after we press enter there is an indented block there is it follows it follows indentation so this is what it is all right so print uh, let us say print x plus y print x plus y all right let us come out of the function let us call the function so we have what parameter values 10 comma 5 so when we call the function we will enter whatever values we want to basically get printed whatever addition of two numbers we want let's say i want addition of two number let's say i want 25 and 35 or 45 all right so this 25 is what this 25 is the value of x and this 45 is what 45 is the value of y so let me repeat it once again this 25 i'm calling the function with parameters parametric values so 25 is what equivalent to x and 45 is equivalent to y i'll run this it is 70 now why is it called a dynamic function you run it anywhere in the notebook and you can call it what you can call it with different values you can call it with different value let's say uh, i'm multiplying 10000 i'm i'm, I'm basically adding 10000 plus 50000 or 60000 so it is going to give me what 70000 whatever value we want to uh, write we can add it up let's say minus uh, 10000 plus 20000 10,000. So this is what it is. This is how 
the function works all right use the print statement and it will work fine all right so let us do what let us have a look at the return statement let us have a look at what let us have a look at the return statement so we have the return statement all right or the return keyword all right so def someone x comma y all right return simply return x plus y now this return does what return marks the end of the function return means uh, basically firstly it marks the end of the function and it means return x plus y to the function that is what it does and when you press enter it will go back it will go automatically out of the function let us say press enter and as you can see it has gone automatically out of the function so this is what it is this is what return keyword does when we used to basically write print statement what it used to do is that it used to basically uh, let's uh, let us say i'm entering i'm uh, basically pressing enter it won't go out of the function see it is still inside the function but over here return does what return means outside the function i'll press enter and it will automatically be outside the function all right so this is what it is all right so this is what it is so i'll call up the function uh, 10 plus comma 15 and what operation i have given i have given x plus y so 25 wherever i basically uh, call it 50 comma 25 it will basically do what it will help me calculate the values so this is what it is this is what the basics of function is all right uh, that's how we define a function that's how we call a function all right in the next video we will be doing what in the next video we will take up certain examples related to function and certain different types of examples related to function multiple examples related to function uh, so this is what it is in the meanwhile keep uh, liking keep sharing and keep subscribing thanks a lot everyone